Intuitive D1111 here. My name is Deanna. Thank you so much for joining me. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as North Node. Let's go ahead and see what's going on with you and your love connection. What is going on for Cancer? How's your person feeling for you and your connection? We have self-love, self-care. So you both could just be working on yourselves right now. Um, you could be, you know, building up your self-esteem, really just um, focusing on your own endeavors, your own, um, you know, health all across the board, right? What is going on in this connection? It says time is a great healer. So if there was some type of, um, you know, halt in your connection, I feel like, you know, the time apart has been necessary for both of you to heal from it, right? Okay, let's see what else here. So if you could be dealing with an earth sign, you could be dealing with um, a Capricorn, a Sagittarius. Uh, some of you could also be dealing with the Pisces. Maybe someone has the Venus in Pisces. We have uh, nights full of red hot passions. <laughs> so I feel like this is what your person wants. If they've been on some type of separation, I feel like they want to come back in with a bang. You know what I mean? Um, how's your person feeling for you? Um, hurt, anger, sad. So they're hurt. I really feel, um, you know, for one of you, I really feel that, uh, actually for both of you, I feel like you both could be hurt within this connection. Um, some of, someone in this connection could actually be hurt from an outside situation, not necessarily having to do with this connection right now. I really feel like there is, um, there's like an underlying betrayal of something that had happened or, or it could just be, you know, some type of painful ending that they had in their own lives. And, um, you know, that's affecting this connection. Yeah, we have here moon cycles going within. And then we have, do you want to know a secret? So I feel like there were some hidden things that were found out within this connection. And I feel like it, with the moon cycles here, I feel like it's been an emotional time. I feel like this relationship has taken many different turns. Um, and then we have here twin flames, invisible cords of love. So some of, for some of you, this definitely is a higher level soul connection. Um, go ahead and no, this is fine. All right, so let's see. Let's get into the tarot and see. Let's go ahead and see how your person is feeling for you, Cancer. How are they feeling for you? All right, let's see. We have oh, the Knight of Wands in reverse. How is your person feeling for you, Cancer? And of course, sometimes the energy can be reversed. So just, you know, take it for however it resonates. We have the Six of Cups. Okay, for some of you, they feel like there's an inconsistency within your connection. For some of you, they, um, for some of you, they weren't really sure for, for whatever reason if they could um, trust you. It's like they felt this soulmate connection, but they felt like they still needed to have their guards up. I really do feel like they enjoyed spending time with you with the Three of Cups. I really feel that, um, you know, you bring a lot of joy and a lot of laughter to their lives. Um, let's see. How are you feeling for your person, Cancer? We have the Six of Wands. How are you feeling for your person? We have the Tower. We have... How are you feeling for your person? We have the Eight of Coins. And we have the nine of coins. Okay, with the ace of wands. So I feel like someone wants a new start here. I feel like someone could be in the public eye with the six of wands here. You could be connecting with the Leo. You could be connecting with the Scorpio here with this tower. I feel like um, someone could also be very much into their ego. Um, I feel like you feel... I feel like you feel that your person, you know, I feel like you feel like they're dedicated to work. I feel like you feel that work is, you know, very important to them. Their financial stability, that's the main thing that they're working on. I feel that you find them to be, um, you know, abundant, beautiful. I feel that for some of you, this person could be doing really well in their their career or they're about to. Um, I feel like there's a lot of creativity around this connection. I feel like um, someone could be heavily into music or art or I feel like someone, um, for some of you, I'm hearing that they are... Like they're good with um, with their hands. So they could be a craftsperson of some sort. 
um, or even an engineer. I'm also getting that. Let's go ahead and look at the outcome of this connection. I kind of feel like you're on the outside looking in of this person in their lives right now because I really don't feel like you guys are in. Um... For the outcome, we have the four coins, so it looks like someone is still going to be holding back. Let's see here for the outcome for Cancer and their love connection. It definitely is a love connection with the Two of Cups, though. I feel like someone's going to be holding back, unfortunately. Yeah, we have the Ten of Swords here. For some of you, your person, um, only take this as if it resonates, they could be holding on to another relationship for whatever type of stability reasons. Um, and for some of you, there could be an ending or you feel like this person has betrayed you in some, in some form or matter. Um, now, this is a general reading, not a personal reading, so just take what resonates. Let's see here. Cancer, how are you feeling for your person? Yeah, for some of you, you feel like they lied. You feel like they were not... Um they were, they were not honest. You felt like they were confused, like they kept different options, or they just were not being, um, being clear with you. All right, for the Cancers watching this video, let's go ahead and get another outcome card for you and your connection for this time being. I really see you continuing to focus on yourself. Some of you, I feel that you will be moving on um, from this connection. Yeah, because you are... Um, I mean, you know, you're beautiful or handsome. You, you're an action taker yourself. You're very ambitious. You have your own, um, your own focuses right now as the Queen of Wands. Um, you're highly desired. So I feel like for right now, okay, like you're not communicating with this person. Some of you, you will continue to not communicate. Now, keep in mind with this Ten of Swords energy, this doesn't necessarily have to be with you. There doesn't have to be an ending with you. Maybe there is something else, another ending that they had happened that happened in their life um, that they were holding on to and that came apart as well. So either way, it's like you both are going to need um, additional time to heal. But you're moving forward though. Your energy still shows that you're moving forward. So that's good. Okay, let's go ahead and get love messages from your person. Okay, so what does your person want to say to you, Cancer? We have, how could you still love me after all I've done? So yeah, for some of you, they really feel like they've messed up. All right, we have, seeing you reminds me of the things I know deep down, and that's not always easy to deal with. Yeah, and so sometimes that's why they might disappear for a while, right? All right, how does Cancer's love interest feel for them? So it says... Our connection still affects me. What is your love interest still for you? It says, I feel damaged like I can't do this. Bottom of the deck, it says, if I knew then what I know now, I would have made different choices. So I really feel that they are, um, you know, really reflecting on different things that have happened within this connection and their role in it, right? All right, let's go ahead and get more messages. All right, for cancer, how's your person feeling for you? I don't want to know. So for some of you, I feel like they're afraid to know too much more about what's going on in your life because they're afraid maybe that you've moved on. All right, how's cancer's love interest feeling for them? Let's see, I find you so attractive. Yeah, they see you as the, the queen of wands. So they definitely find you very attractive. Um, it says, I miss seeing you. Yeah, you make this person happy. They miss being around you. All right, what else? Okay, we have, I saved your text, uh, your text and your messages. And then bottom of the deck, we have, I am not over you. Okay, so thank you so much for spending time with me. Please like the video if you enjoyed it, as well as subscribe. It really will help my channel to grow. And I really hope you know that you are loved and that you are a blessing. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.